Hey, what's up all my cancers? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. All right, my cancers. So I'm back with a reading for you guys. I'm so excited. It's going to be a general reading overall. Just to kind of check in with you guys, see where you're at, where your energy been at. I've been gone for a little while. Now I'm back with the jump off, okay? No little Kim, maybe a little, little Kim energy. It, anyway, okay. So um, thank you guys so much for all your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you haven't done so already, please do so, okay? These are... A general reading so it may or may not resonate with you i tell everybody's tarot card readings i like advice you to take it or you leave it okay either way i'm good okay so we're gonna get this started any cards that i use are listed in the description box below also if you want a personal reading for me that information is in the description box below okay so let's get this thing popping we're gonna get use the egyptian um tarot deck it's all a major arcana cards to get overall energy I'm going to use the brow talish and um the life is like a board game tarot so let's see what's popping for my cancers and shout out to my auntie because she been on me she like you ain't uploading no videos all right so she she got she she on me okay the strength card here the hermit card energy okay so you have leo energy and you have virgo give me one more I feel like somebody was having some type of power struggle and they just decided to kind of like be alone. I feel like somebody wants some like privacy or somebody just tired of people being in their business, somebody being nosy. Give me one more, dang. I feel like it's some type of secret, somebody won't say nothing. What's, what's going on, Cancer? Y'all normally talk of this. Ah. And it came out in reverse. And I normally don't read these cards reverse, but it came out. This is your card, your energy, the chariot in reverse. So maybe you guys are going through some changes. I feel like maybe some of you guys don't feel like yourself. And you have the full card here at the bottom as your overall energy. Or spirit wants you to change your certain ways about doing some things. Or maybe you need to retreat on your own maybe you went through some things um with the shrimp car energy here and the hermit is here that you kind of want to retreat be alone kind of get grounded again and with the chariot card here i feel like maybe you guys might be off emotionally or something makes you emotionally unstable let's get let's see let's use this deck let's clarify What's the strength card? I feel like somebody was just like, I am the queen of, or the king healing. Give me one more for strength. Closing. Somebody stepping away from a situation. Look, falling in love. What's the hermit? Loneliness. teacher this gives me here uh this gives me um the hair font energy and then you have a uh, small little at the bottom so i feel like you guys are like either you're teaching somebody a lesson i hear their bison song teach me a lesson um what's that lyric uh uh she just you just left town and skated on me bounce switch locations on me can't keep waiting on me mm made a mistake baby now you're trying to find a replacement for me okay y'all know the words i'm just saying bryson to look teach me a lesson that's the energy that i get um the chariot i hear miss me when i'm gone defeat I, again i feel like you guys may be down or yourselves about this because it didn't work out or something didn't work out the way you wanted it to justice truth but justice card energy. And then you have play at the bottom. Because somebody's playing with somebody's emotions. Okay. Somebody's playing with somebody's life. I feel like. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with people's emotions.
All right, so healing. Someone came in here asking for some gushers. Oh, I'm recording videos. Let's see, he a cancer too. I should have known, right? I feel like uh, the impulsiveness. No, because you know I'm recording and you keep busting in this door. Get the gushers like you asked for initially. Okay, so this is my issue with you cancers. <laughs> Just don't accept no foreign answers. Or one minute you may want one thing and the next minute, nah, I don't want that. I want something different. You know what I'm saying? You asked me for the gushers after you interrupted me the first time. I said it was cool. And then you're going to come back right back in here and ask me for some Skittles. You're going to enjoy them gushers. What's healing? I don't care. What's healing? Four cups. Not interested, please. So I feel like somebody may have told you they weren't interested in you no more. You told them that you weren't interested in no more. So give me one more for healing. Eight of Wands, quick communications, garden. Seven of Swords in reverse, something shady way. Yeah, because somebody wasn't being honest about how they felt. I feel like where somebody's trying to heal and then this person comes back or some mess like that was closing. Seven of Wands, Perseverance. And that's eight to 15. That's six of Wands. Somebody wants to be victorious in, in something. What else we have? We have the Chariot in reverse and the Emperor here. And then you have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Again, somebody is emotionally unstable. I get emotional outbursts. Because I feel like, so this, again, this is kind of like this power struggle with the strength. Like, I feel like somebody is being strong along, and I get that energy here, too. You see how that is coming coming across? Like, somebody is being strong along when somebody is clearly maybe not interested in pursuing anything past what they had already have. Like, something is broken. But I feel like somebody keeps playing this game. What's this for? Cups? Again, playing... Ten of Wands. I feel like this is a, a sexual energy or something. 25, that's seven of wands. Somebody's very persistent though. Three of Cups at the bottom. It's a party place. So this might be um somebody in a relationship. So they're 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 trying to like be like, oh no, I, I'm a I wanna be with you or I wanna do things with you. Two of swords here in reverse, and the lovers is at the bottom, Gemini energy. This is clarifying the eight of wands. So I do get a sense that somebody is saying that saying one thing, but they're not making decisions. What's the seven of wands? For healing and strength. Oh, for closing and strength. What's the seven of wands? The King of Pentacles. Somebody is not stable. That's Capricorn towards Virgo energy. Somebody has secrets. But I feel like if somebody found out, I like, know this person is not for me. This person is not about me. They're about somebody else. They're not stable. It's the Chariot in reverse. Why is your energy in reverse again? Four of Pentacles holding on tight. So I feel like some of you guys may be holding on to something that you should let go and move forward from and really close this situation out. What's the Emperor? The five of cups is in reverse and clarity way. So I feel like somebody kind of told you um, this, or you told somebody uh, what they needed to hear as far as closure, but maybe somebody is not accepting the truth. All right. So let's get this hermit energy and loneliness. When somebody tells you who you are, you, who they are, you have to believe it. The star. So I feel like this time alone is for you to heal. Give me one more. The six of wands in reverse. The four of wands is here at the bottom. I just get a, a real defeated energy. Somebody feels defeated. Like every time they try to heal or something, like something else happens and they just feel, ugh. What's the star? The hangman. They're caught up. Can't, um, I hear, um, how can you mend a broken heart? With the three of swords in reverse. What's the six of wands? in reverse the lovers and then the world is here 
I feel like somebody need to make better decisions in love. If you're lonely, if you think you're lonely now, right? It, but it's kind of that situation is if you don't fix it, you will end up being lonely. What's the teacher? If you don't heal properly. The Knight of Swords. Give me one more. The Nine of Wands and then the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like somebody, okay, so I feel like you guys need to take time for yourself. That loneliness, it's not really, you don't have, it's not that the fact that you're, you're lonely, you know what I'm saying? It's just the fact that they want you to be alone. I feel like in the midst of you being alone, you, you feel, you harbor, you, you harbor this lonely energy and it's more so you just taking the time to be alone to really find yourself because I feel like don't rush into two things with people kind of keep your guard up and you don't want to be guarded the whole time but if you really want something solid you really want a commitment then I feel like they're saying that you want to move start moving a certain way stop moving so fast what's this night of swords the strength card leo energy and then you have the nine of swords here again at the bottom in reverse excuse me they want you to be strong this hermit energy okay this is the time if you're single you're supposed to be single right now so it's divine timing like this everything happened for a reason so don't feel like it, it is happening and and things are just going haywire it's all happening for a reason um the only thing i'm concerned about is your mental health and whether or not um your emotions are fully on track what's uh the cherry in reverse and defeat the high priestess is in reverse. Some of you guys already knew, but you were trying to kind of like the temperance is here. The two of wands is in reverse, not moving forward. And that's why you guys feel defeated. Maybe you guys were trying to make something work, but you knew all along that it really wouldn't work. What's the high priestess in reverse? The hierophant. You knew somebody was committed or something. Or you knew this could it wouldn't lead to a commitment and you have the magician here and clear it away. Somebody really told you what was up. And maybe that's what has you kind of emotionally off balance. Because I feel like you may have put on, somebody may have put on the front like they were cool with whatever decision this was. But really deep down inside, I feel like they, they weren't really happy with it. What's just as true? But I feel like everything is going to kind of pan out. So the Six of Cups came out to clarify just as true. And the three of wands is here at the bottom. So I feel like you will get answers about some things in the past, in the near future. Because I feel like that's why you can't move forward with the cherry in, in reverse. Maybe you, you haven't gotten the proper closure, but you will. And sometimes we, we have to stop looking for closure and just accept things for what they are. And a lot of times that's when the closure comes. And you have the world here, um, kind of just being content with the past and moving forward and accepting that this cycle has completed itself, you know, and the King of Cups is here. Uh, that's your energy. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I really get a sense of you guys really being emotionally um, detached from the situation and understanding that everything is happening for a reason What's the Six of Cups. Eight of Cups, leave it all behind place. I feel like the devil is here on the bottom. So I feel like a lot of times this person like tugs on your, your emotions, your heartstrings. What's the world? The King of Swords and Waiting Patiently Avenue. So I really get a sense that um, you guys will get your truth certain uh, uh, for sure. But are you really going to wait around for it? Or are you going to start healing and moving forward in your life? Because I feel like the only thing that this is doing is preventing you from moving forward and really accepting things for what they are and really preparing yourself for your next major relationship. Because if you're not ready for this next step in this, uh, for, if you're not ready for uh, a relationship and you find yourself in one, it could end the same exact way. So that's why they want you to kind of take the time. All right, so let's clear this energy out. And then we're going to get you guys some um, the Oracle card.
right, Cancer. Give me a card for my Cancers. Ooh, black cat. Good luck. And shooting star, confirmation. So this is confirmation for you guys. You guys may have already had this in your mind. And I tell people too, tarot card readings, a lot of times there's just confirmation of things that you already know or things that you didn't want to face. Okay, so black cat, good luck. Today is your lucky day. You are on a winning streak and everything is going in favor of you. Don't lose a second by worrying about whether or not you should throw caution to the wind. Instead, draw on this good fortune and take advantage because your big break has arrived finally. Don't be afraid to make the most of it. As the saying goes, make hay while the sun shines. So grab this fortuitous opportunity with both hands. By doing so, you are assured of the bountiful rewards that are just waiting to be reaped. Lady Luck is on your side. No matter what you do, you just can't lose. Rest assured, you will land on your feet just like a cat. Now go for it. Your positive thoughts and intentions have brought about good fortune. Dismiss any negativity good news arrives and offer is the one you've been waiting for connect with cats and their energy okay because traditionally people are always like oh black cats they're bad luck they're bad luck no i feel like um going out of a certain mindset and looking at things differently you get what i'm saying all right all my cancers well it's always been a pleasure when i get into your energy i really appreciate it if you haven't done so already please like share comment and subscribe to my channel if you've done so already you know I appreciate you. So until next time, holla at a player when you see me in the street pimp. Bye.